So now we may add like a little bit of a uh, skull crushing. Of course. Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from DAD Microphones, and on today's episode, we're gonna be doing some Foley over at Sync Tank Sound, and we're gonna stab a guy with audio. Well guys, we are super excited to be here at Sync Tank where they record Foley with Foley artist Jody. Yay. You might know her from the other episode right up here. So we are back here, we are doing horror kind of sound effects and we want to know exactly the deep dive secrets and Jody's going to give us a little hint at what that's all about. And really the physical nature of some of these are very impressive. Oh, thank you. For noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit real fast. What is Foley for those out there who do not know? Well, what makes Foley unique is that we are physically creating sound effects for TV and movies that is very custom made. We're specifically making sounds for the picture that you see on your screen. Yeah, you want to use stock footage in a movie to cut a movie, you'd shoot the scene. Same thing here, you want to use stock sound effects for your movie because you want it to be unique and really tailored. You can have a Foley artist look at it and go, oh, hold on, let me do X, Y, and Z in that order. We'll layer it and boom, it's going to nail the sound and really make an immersive experience. That's the goal. And speaking of immersive, let's go take a look at an impact right now. So we have this impact sound effect. What goes into an impact? Well, there are many, many different kinds of impacts, and we treat each one individually. A body fall on wood, a body fall on metal, a body fall in the dirt. And this comes back to the can sound effect. Right. The can sound effect you may find may only be a whole thing on nothing but dirt or fabric on fabric. And you're like, cool, but I need that to sound like this material on that. Every sound has its own resonance. Exactly. And every Foley artist can do it differently, but I, I can show you some ideas of, of things we can do for this particular effect. Awesome. So like, let's, let's, let's do one. Let's do it. So Jody, what is it we're going to be using for this head hit? We'll start with the initial um, hammer hitting the head. Okay. Now a uh, head is pretty hard. <laughs> So we're going to use, in this instance, this log. Okay. But it could all, it, we don't want it to sound woody. So we're going to use this leather jacket to give, fleshy. give us some flesh. And then I'm going to use this mallet. You know, you could use a hammer, you could use a mallet, whatever. I use the mallet because it softens it a little bit, mm -hmm. but you still get the oomph and the weight of the impact. That fast attack, sound, spike, yeah. all that good stuff. Good. So we're down here in the Foley pit, which is what this area is called, and we have a monitor up in front of us. What exactly are we seeing on our monitor? Every uh, picture is broken down into the time code that you see, which is the, the frame the, the down to the last second. And our sound cue is queued up to time code. Time. So, so the mixer, We'll trigger the sound, we'll get three beeps, and we will fire our effect on the fourth imaginary beep. So that answers the question, do you go on three or after three? The answer, after. after. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Exciting, huh? I'll tell you, it, it hasn't changed since three years ago. I held my breath every time. The mic is very sensitive. If our stomach growls, we can ruin a take, so. <laughs> so you talk about layers, so that was the first layer. What else are we gonna right. add to this? So now we may add like a little bit of a uh, skull crushing. Of course. And, and you can use lots of stuff for this. You know, I'm gonna use these, this is a balsa wood basket that berries come in and it makes for great, um, for cracking sounds and sometimes we'll have to deaden them with some gloves just so it's not too bright. If you want to try some, maybe we'll try using celery. I know classic. a lot of, it Easy. is classic. A little TikTok one you always see, they use this effect. We rarely, rarely it. use it, but people for whatever reason like to see it. So. There you go. See, there's the real facts right there. Celery, <laughs> it's fake. All those videos you see, we use celery. No 
they don't. Well, sometimes we do, but... Sometimes they do. You can. Let's just say that. There you have it. So, yeah. <laughs> when you did the recording there, I definitely heard you, like, roll the crack. It definitely wasn't just a snap. Right. So, like, there's a lot of, like, little minor actions that really kind of add to everything. It's not just can sound effects. It just always sounds like the same thing. You really morphed it into what you wanted to be. Well, we do. We try and and give it life and give yeah. it texture and detail so it's not just a crack, you know, a bright yeah. thing that just sounds weird. And, and when you play it back raw, it's not going to sound correct. It's when all the elements get mixed together. David, the mixer, works his magic. And, and that's when you really sell the sound. But do you want to try one with some I'm celery? I'm going to try the celery, the, the, the TikTok secret right here. Try just giving it a... A twist and a, a yeah. twist crack? Yeah, and watch out for the squeak factor. That's a problem when people say, use cabbage for things. Well, cabbage is squeaky. So sometimes celery is squeaky. I hear, hear the But little... here you have it. Okay. Let's roll. Okay. So this is a, the head of a hoe or whatever axe pickaxe, or whatever yeah. you call it, pickaxe. It's a sweetener that just gives another element of detail and it hits that, that sounds sound. like yeah. it's a big heavy <laughs> hammer. Oops, sorry, just heavy hammer. You said ass. Let's sweeten it up. Oh, I got that. There, I hear the little ping. Yeah, I gotta find the right. That's good. That's great. Okay. Okay. There, you got a little ring that. off. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Now that we have everything recorded and David's done a little bit of his work, let's watch the final clip. So now we know how to destroy someone's head with a hammer using nothing but sound. Let's actually take a look at how to actually crush someone's head. <laughs> Why not? What did you find? <laughs> what am I saying? Well, that was gross. What really kind of I noticed there was the fact that with a crushing sound, there's stuff that happens only through the audio that you don't visually always see, and you have to figure out how to sell that as an artist. Right, we call that a cheat. You're not necessarily hearing or seeing the stress sounds, and we want to sell that there is a, it's you know, there's up. pressure on whatever is about to be crushed, in this case, a head, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there is there is sound that leads up to the the final. And this is the artistry, you going above and beyond the visual to really make it something unique. Exactly. So this clip has a lot of different layers to it. There's a lot of buildup. And you were telling me if I kind of make a squeezing sound with this leather, it would kind of mimic that? Yeah, it creates the illusion of stress. Yeah. So you you want to work that a little bit. I'm going to buddy cue with you. It's when we have two Foley artists working with two different props at the same time. There you go, buddy cue, keyword. And so this is the first element that we're going to tackle on this particular clip. Okay. <laughs> Did that stress you out, <laughs> literally and figuratively? Literally and figuratively, because you're you're working it, you're concentrating, you're concentrating here on the video, and all the while you're like, do not breathe. The microphone will That's hear true. it. That's true. That's true. It is. It is. It is a focused craft. So we got one pass down. What's the other thing oh, that you so, kind of spotted? So then the next one? thing I wanted to accentuate is when the skull actually collapses. Right. And it would be a skull crushy kind of sound. Again, there are different things you can use. I'm gonna use a rock <laughs> and I'm gonna put some grit on there, which is dirt. We actually Technical have term. an antler that has a piece of skull on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this is an actual deer skull here. So sometimes we'll play the elements off 
one another. Um, I think I was actually digging in here for that final. This is gonna be a quick crack. Okay. It sounds gross even in real life. I know it's just bones on rock, but <laughs> it's not. It matches the visual so well and it sells that visual, which is probably a rubber mask and some Karo syrup. <laughs> but when you add these elements and you make it sound like a bone is inside that skull, right? you believe there's a bone inside the skull. And I when mean, we add the gush, oh. The gush? The gush factor, all that blood and the ooze and always is fun. <laughs> So what we've got here is some wet cloth. Well, these are chamois that you buy at the hardware store to, to wash your car. If you have one Foley prop in your arsenal, get a chamois because they are great for gush. And there are lots of different ways to manipulate gush and splats. Mm -hmm. Gush and splats. You know, we use chamois all the time. These are my secret weapons. These are some like little weird things I got at silicone, CVS. Yeah, some kind of silicone yeah, football. Yeah, it's a little ball. What I like about these is, yeah, you might want to wring it out a little so you don't get too much drip. Okay, what I like about oh, these is they give a sort of a wheeze element. Oh, like, yeah, there's a wheeze. So it, it brings it more to life than just sounding like a wet rag. Time it all out. Yeah, we can be a little more mellow at the top and then after that, just go for it and see what happens. Okay. It's so over the top and goofy. I love it. All in a day's work. Shall we hear the finished product? Yeah, let's give it a watch. With that clip down, let's take a look at our last one, which is a stab. <laughs> Well, that scene is super realistic and, and gross. When it comes to stabbing, one thing I've noticed is in real life, it sounds like one thing, which is kind of a dull, boring sound, but in the movies, knives sound awesome. And that's part of the, the joy or the magic of Foley is we create drama with sound effects by making them hyper real. So for this scene, we're gonna do a couple of ways that we're actually going to recreate this and really play into what we think would really make you guys grossed out. So how would we approach this one on our first base layer? You know, again, you wanna look for the, the sync points that are really gonna sell it. Even though in reality, it probably wouldn't make much sound if that knife is as sharp as it is. But we're going to accentuate the in and where the blade comes out on the other side. Okay. So I'm gonna let you give a shot with this Big giant Careful. piece of citrus. With this um, grapefruit. Yeah. Please do not slice through your finger. So we're hold it like this. So you know, not. some people like to use melons. Um, this is a papaya. Sometimes they can give you no sound, so you need to mic really close. Or sometimes it's, you know, a little too hollowy and weird. I can also help you out maybe a little bit with our good old head of iceberg lettuce. Just kind of give it a little, and you can even cheat it with a hit. A pine cone is a great prop for lots of different things. Some okay. people like it for fire crackling. I've also used it, you know, in The Walking Dead for zombie skin that's very, you know, papery and thin. Um, but it can also, you can also use it to cheat certain things. So we could maybe use this to simulate like 
it's the knife going through tendons and yeah. a little bit of other internal ick. <sighs> all that ick and goosh and all these technical terms, people. It didn't sound like that much to us in here. Right. But that microphone is super sensitive and David processes it to where it will be awesome, I have no doubt. Now that David has sweetened all of the audio, here is the final clip. What we have learned today is three big takeaways. That is one, that material on material, different kinds of stuff interact differently, and you can really dial in so that your sound feels like what you actually see visually. And then when it comes to the actual visual stuff, sometimes visuals don't always just sell it. Sometimes the creativity of what you do with your audio before and after the effect are just as important as the actual effect itself. And of course, when it comes to the effect, sometimes trying to mimic real life isn't, isn't what you want. You want to do hyper realism to really kind of sell it to your audience. But the biggest takeaway from all of today is the fact that Jody right here is a rock star at what she does. And I myself am still just that dainty flower. It hasn't changed in three years. She got me then and I'll tell you today, I'm still not very good at this. But that's because this is a practice that you have to do on a daily basis. You really have to get into it. Trial and error is pretty much the definition of Foley. Absolutely. Well guys, before this video wraps up, I wanna tell you guys, you can download all the clips that we recorded today down in that description. You can also find the subscribe button and a bell for notifications so you don't miss an episode from us. I wanna thank the Sync Tank. I'm Andrew from Deity. Thank you for watching.